uh, welcome guys uh, now we will move on to the next topic uh, which is uh, short circuit test uh, which is used to do the calculate the copper losses of transformer so we will discuss in this what is a short circuit test and how it's measuring copper loss the short circuit test of transformer is the one of type test by which we can measure the full load copper loss of the transformer for testing the short circuit current test all meters ammeters watt meters and volt meters are connected to high voltage winding and the low voltage winding is short circuited which is shown in figure and will show you now now the low voltage is applied at high voltage side and the applied voltage is slowly increased with the help of VDA until ammeter gives reading equal to the rated current of HV side. When the current of HV side reach at rated current of transformer, at that time reading of watt meter represents the full load CU copper losses of transformer that is both primary copper losses and secondary copper losses so uh, it's very simple uh, copper losses as we have explained in our previous lectures we due to current flow in the copper and in including i square or losses so transformer is producing i square or losses uh, at hv winding and also in the lv winding so in this test what we are doing we are short circuiting here you can see this low voltage side we are short circuiting through some conductor and this red color is shorted uh, and this is the voltage side the high voltage side is in blue color we will connect here variable source connect one voltmeter watt meter and ammeter gradually we will increase the current or oh, uh, increase the voltage and, and check the uh, current in the ampere meter when this current will be reaching rated current of the HV side of the transformer we will stop and take the reading but this reading will be sum of you have to remember copper losses in HV side plus copper losses of LV side okay now we describe why the watt meter represents the total full load CU losses of transformer only not represent the core losses this is a question uh, now we have done this test and they should be co uh, uh, core losses also but no it has only the copper losses as the applied curve voltage is quite small usually 5 to 10 percent of norm normal voltage compared to this rated primary voltage of the transformer and the core losses of transformer is directly proportional to the applied voltage so the core losses are very small negligible that can be taken negligible here let the reading of the ammeter is 1i1 which is rated current of HV winding at that time the voltmeter reading is V1 which is quite small uh, compared to rated primary voltage of transformer and that voltmeter reading is W which is full load copper loss of transformer the equivalent circuit diagram of transformer under short circuit condition is shown so before proceeding to that diagram I will ask a question now. Answer I already I have read it. That uh, why in the short circuit test we are shorting LV side and apply voltage on HV side. Why we are not shorting HV side and apply voltage on LV side? So again why? So the answer is because if you apply voltage on LV side, HV side will be higher voltages and there will be more induced voltages and then uh, the core loss will be uh, more so it will incre increase the error so always the voltage are applied on HV side and LV is shorted so this is how the things work and also the second thing is uh, uh, here the step if you increase a small step there will be a big change on HV side so uh, sensitivity is is, uh, is higher here the sensitivity of increased voltage is, is, is lower so this is another aspect okay short circuit test circuit diagram this is a circuit diagram this is apply voltage here is a short circuit here you can see resistance r1 x1 r2 x2 okay now they are combining both resistance and this is a short so it is it is having the complete resistance of both 
primary and uh, secondary windings okay here again uh, we have shown the calculation by vector diagram how the losses are calculated you can uh, see in, in detail this is the numerical okay uh, our next test is open circuit test or no load test of transformer okay the open circuit test of transformer is one of the type test of transformer by which core losses of transformers are determined in this test normal voltage is applied on the low voltage side at rated frequency and high voltage is a open condition that means there is no load in the transformer at that time reading of watt meter connected on the low voltage side gives no load losses or core losses of transformer and no load impedance of transformer <coughs> so open circuit test is giving two uh, output of open circuit two parameters one is uh, core losses and another parameter that we will get low load impedance of transformer so how is this we are going to test it this is the low voltage side high voltage side you will keep it open and you will keep on applying voltage you will see the current here and you will see the watt meter here and you can get the open circuit uh, reading very easily for measuring the open circuit test the high voltage winding is left open a watt meter a volt meter and ammeter are connected in uh, in the another winding that is low voltage winding of the transformer the connection of watt meter volt meter and ammeter are shown in the figure now normal voltage applied to the low voltage winding and then recorded the reading of watt meter volt meter ammeter which are connected to the low voltage winding the watt meter measures the iron loss consisting of stresses loss and eddy current loss of transformer because the cu loss is negligible small in low voltage winding and nil in the high voltage winding no load condition the ammeter measures the no load current i not which is small 2 to 10 percent of rated current the voltage measured the normal voltage is applied in the low voltage winding okay question number one why are copper losses negligible in open circuit test the answer is as no load current is very small so the no load copper loss is very small in the comparison with the iron losses so the copper losses are neglected in open circuit test question number two that we have to find why is is kept open high voltage side of transformer during measuring the open circuit test answer is high voltage side is kept open due to suitability of using metering arrangement in the low voltage side rather than the high voltage side so if you use uh, apply voltage uh, 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 on the HP side and measure the losses on LV side it, it is not really easy so in this way you can do it okay thank you very much uh